Hello, this is Steve Wilson in the XCrafts ERJ Family Video Tutorial Series. In this video, we're going to cover using the Direct Keyboard Entry Motor, DKE. Using DKE as part of the FMS, where you'll use the computer keyboard to type directly into the FMS. To enter the DKE mode, click any place in the scratch pad. When you do, you see a block cursor and a small green circle in the top left hand corner of the screen then that indicates that you are in DKE mode. Another key way of telling that you're in DKE mode is you'll hear the DKE beep. I'm going to go ahead and type in a new call sign. You heard the beep there. Uh, basically that's to remind you that uh, you're in DKE mode if you're typing on the keyboard madly and nothing's happening. You expect to be changing your view or what have you and nothing's going on. If you're hearing the beep, that means you're in DKE and you've got to go back to the FMS and get out. Okay, uh, to insert, basically, this is this, this orange field is where you're going to insert your new call sign. Voila, there you go. Aircraft call sign updated, you get a little bit of feedback, and you're good, we're good to go. Um, a few other things about DKE, which is, which is useful if you're selecting a flight plan, for example. You've got the previous and next buttons and up and down as well as select. I mean, these are very, very important, but you've got TKE counterparts. You can use the left and right arrows to use previous and next. You can use the up and down arrows to go up and down. And finally, if you're on the way the uh, very uh, waypoint or the very uh, flight plan you want, you want to click select, but you can also use the enter key. And the route's now stored. We'll get into how to use that later. Of course, once uh, you enter something that adds waypoints, you're going to get a little indication that we do have waypoints that we will eventually want to use uh, for our flight plan. And that pretty much takes care of direct keyboard entry. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask them online in our online forums at explain.org. Otherwise, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.